Hello and welcome back for part 92 of This Is Total War with Throg. So we're at the start of a new turn here, and our big decision this turn is whether to have Hacker and his reasonably healthy gang of mammoths come fight these Empire stacks that are stood here in Force March. So what happened over the end turn was that there was a big scrap between two greenskin stacks and these Reichland armies. Reichland won, pretty convincingly, based on how strong their units still are. But they took a bit of damage, and all three of these stacks are on Force March. So this would be a great turn to attack them. Unfortunately, this army here is led by Karl Franz. And that means this army is extremely difficult to block with a sorcerer just because of uh, Karl being max level and also other bonuses he has. So even though he's in Force March, if I go to, say, this guy, level 40, Metal Sorcerer, yeah, I'm only 41% to make that block attempt. If this was an army that was easier to block, I can imagine taking out these two stacks, blocking this army, and even though we'd be left kind of in no man's land in the middle of Reichland's territory here, it's unlikely they could really throw much at us. But, yeah, sadly, that's not the case. So, I'm not sure what to do about this. I was thinking about it before I started the recording. I think I will handle every, every other, um, you know, decision this turn and come back to this. Um, I, I can start by getting a bit more intel with my characters. So this is a low rank sorcerer. Unfortunately, that means, yeah, I mean, even against this generic Lord on Force March, he's only... 16% to make that block attempt, so he's better used just getting a bit more vision around. I'm kind of curious whether there's any more greenskin armies. Ah, oh, there's another Empire stack Never. here. Okay, well that's good to know about. This general looks like he's much lower level. Still only 31% to block him. Yeah, it's been a, a kind of a challenge the whole of this campaign, getting high level sorcerers without them being like assassinated or perpetually wounded. So I have to bear in mind that this army would be able to launch a counter-attack. Right. Yeah, this hero unfortunately can't do too much on the army interaction side. He's got Hinder Replenishment, but it doesn't even stop Replenishment altogether. I just find it to be, a, you know, not a very effective skill. Um, Throg's up here. Throg's not a million miles away. Oh, I can see military presence 4 here, so these guys are actually raising another army in Vertbad. I was hoping I could just ignore them, but I suppose not. Well, it's only 4 units right now, maybe it's not such a big deal. So my plan was to have... Yeah, my, my plan was to have Throg raise this. Yeah, Throg needs some healing though, otherwise we're going to lose Mammoths. Um... Alright, well Throg is definitely going to attack Krugenheim. Someone has to get rid of it. I don't have any other armies in the area. Time for a feeding. And I'd rather... I guess I'd rather end up a bit to the south, if that was possible. Because I'm not going to have movement after this. Move. Yeah, uh... Oh, there's a river right there. Nuts. Oh, I might have slightly messed this up. Okay. We might end up with Throg slightly out of position this turn. I don't think it's such a big deal, though. Yeah, now, I smashed up the garrison already, so they're obviously very weak, but I think this mammoth's liable to die if I order resolve. Let me just see as well. I had a wizard who was coming over to try and join up with Throg. Oh, he can't make it. That's unfortunate. How about this wizard? Okay, this is actually an Infernal Dominance wizard. Oh, Law of Fire as well. Okay, well, that works very well. Sure, you can join Throg. And this guy, what can you do? Maybe come get me intel on Vertbad? Yeah. Ridiculous. Okay. Right, let's fight this battle. Fight this battle and raise Krugenheim. Um, lightning strike, yeah. 
We shouldn't take any damage in this battle, but the order resolve doesn't know that, unfortunately. Yeah, I mean, I can just use my... I can just use drug and my weapon. and we can easily handle this and regenerate the damage. Yeah, it's just too bad that we don't have any friendly territory to get a big chunk of replenishment. We can go into camp stance next turn, which we can do. Um, oh, I like how this has been. This terrain has been like warped by the chaos influence. That's kind of cool. I've seen a lot of this battle map, but not many of them have had this huge like or like wastes style of of terrain coloring. Nice. We are spreading chaos corruption after all. So what have you got here? You've got Blast. Okay. Yeah, there's really not too much to say about this battle. Um, keep the low health mammoths out of the way. Not that there's any Empire, you know, tricks or whatever to spawn units on top of them or get to them here. Yeah, I mean, this mammoth... It looks very low health here, because as a fraction it is, but it's still 788 health. Like, it, it's not going to die to something in one hit, even. But yeah, the order is off. I don't trust it. Okay. I think all I have to do here is walk up to the Empire soldiers, blast them with some magic, then go kill them. And that'll be that. I don't think I even want to overcast anything. No point in taking damage on a wizard. Oh, goodbye that crossbowman unit. And let's lock fireball in for good measure. Ah, flames double too. This one's good. To oh wow, yeah, that's got it through the rest of their troops. Well, not that we needed much luck for this battle, but World Empire is well and truly Dunzo in this fight. So we're counting down the settlements here. We just took out two. I think that means the Empire has 12 left, but we should check. Yep, raise that. All right, and where does Strug end up standing? Uh, back this way. Okay. Yeah, it, it's fine. I can maybe have Throg. I, I don't really trust this area, which probably means I should have a, a hero come scout it, because I know there's a greenskin army that's just marched through here towards us over at Drakenhof. And I know there's also these guys. I don't really want anything to do with them. The greenskins are too big to wipe out. I mean, eventually we could do it, but the goal is to kill Reichland, not to kill greenskins. Um, okay, so this also has really good mix of stuff here. Yeah, he was leveled up to do a lot of fighting. I don't know, he must have been wounded. Yeah. I guess I can pick up... Which of these? Um, we'll go for the Flaming Sword of Ruin. Okay, so you've moved. Ah, right. This sorcerer. So I could come down here and try and block this army. Not a good chance of that. Yeah, this is a rank 39. Galba, great shaman. I think my plan for these guys... 
because they don't have any heroes in the area. So I think my plan with the, for these guys is to bait them into attacking Drakenhof. And do that by having this army stand in ambush dance just outside. I mean, it's going to still be a very tough fight, but I've got to imagine... We should be able to deal with them. Yeah, even if we don't actually get the ambush off, or don't use the ambush deployment, I think we can still still manage this. It may be that they were going to come attack us, even if I stood in Drakenhof, but... Let's take a look here. So Drakenhof has... Werke and Marauder Champs, Berserkers, Great Weapons, four regular Marauders, Hunters with Axes, Chariots, Horsemen, Hounds, Fimir, Ice Trolls. Yeah. I, I think that plus this is, is good. Uh, I don't think I need to block this army. I'd rather kind of deal with it. I do want to keep blocking this army, though. Oh, how am I only... Oh, no. I should have kept a closer eye on this. Um, so they swapped out their general for Vashnar, and now my chance of blocking them is far lower. Oof. Okay. Yeah, that, that potentially is a bit of a problem. Hmm... Well, let's see. I don't think I need to worry about anyone coming from this side, but I couldn't see anything else to do with this hero's movement, so... Okay. Yeah, we failed. Okay, well... No. Uh, now there's the issue of possibly being attacked by the Greenskins and then this guy on the same turn. Let's have a look at his army. It's pretty one-dimensional. It's all just heavy chaos infantry, with one knight and two one knight and two bolt throwers. Um, what? Take what's theirs. Yeah, that's going to be tough. It feels sort of manageable. Wish I had high level. I definitely wish I had high level um, sorcerers here. Yes, I wish I had this as well. Thinking back to that last battle against the Bretonians that I lost over the end turn with um, Lamont on Force March, if I'd had that ability that I'm working towards, but he's just not high enough, not high enough rank. Like if I had this regeneration ability, we would have definitely won that battle. Because even though Lamont broke and got low on health and, and ran away, this would have just the regeneration would have would have kept him healthy. And by the end of the battle, he would have regenerated thousands and thousands of health, and he could have actually just taken on that Bretonian lord, who. Um, was the straw that broke the camel's back at the end. Anyway, um, I guess I have extra heroes here, so do I want to disband a unit to get another Werken into this army? Yeah, probably I should do that. Yeah. The Werken, Werken are quite good against quite a few of these units. Um, so which unit to get rid of? Is probably a feral manticore. I think the feral manticores are not do not perform particularly well. Like they're kind of stats wise better on paper than they actually end up doing. Um, also, yeah, I mean there's two units of archers here. Oh, I've got to watch for their uh, spinning loons as well. There's two units of archers, and then there's just the one unit of the doom divers, and the archers have stork. So I feel like I don't really need three. I think this yeah I think this third manticore is. Not really doing a great deal for us. Yes. An extra work in for just more consistent fighting power is good. Yeah, we have so much infernal dominance in this stack, it's kind of crazy. Alright, we also have this Fimir, but he's really just giving us vision and boosting our growth. He's yeah, I don't need to move him. Um right, I know there's no more orcs down this way. Maybe, to war. yeah, wander over that direction. Um, I guide the tribe. Yeah. Yes, yes, going. I also want to... Making my way. I should have explored these ruins, I guess. Yeah, it doesn't look like the Greenskins have another wave of armies coming just yet. Battle is which is fine. Don't really want to make that. Um, yeah, I don't really want to make that uh, 
steel technology attempt with a 7% chance of getting wounded because I feel like I need my vision of this area. Alright, there's no one else over here. Oh, there is. There's Volkmar up here. Unwise. Okay. We're... we're uh, we have to be very careful here. I'm glad I discovered this army, though. No, I can attack them. Not likely. Impossible. They look like they're pretty close to full health. War. Yeah, I need to be careful here because otherwise I can end up in the situation I had a while ago in the campaign where the Empire has like six, seven stacks that they can throw against us in one position over one end turn. I can't risk losing Hacker's Army though, I really need these mammoths and I have a bad feeling that if I make this attack here, like if I attack here, yes I might wipe out even both of these stacks but I don't think I'd win the follow-up fight against Karl and Volkmir, uh, Volkmar sorry, over the end turn. It was useful to discover this army, though, for sure. I kind of want to try and set an ambush, but the trouble is... Not likely. Okay, so... Well, Carl can't get as far as Altdorf. I'll ignore that. These armies are actually taking attrition. They're not replenishing, and that's because of the chaos corruption. Although it's just on the threshold where they won't take corruption damage again. Maybe I'm talking myself out of this attack after all. Not possible. Bloodthirsty. If I force march back to Altdorf, I can heal up most of this damage. Next turn, I can try and lay an ambush. They're likely to come recolonize Grunberg, possibly. Okay, it might still be worth... If I'm not going to make an attack, I should still try and block some of these armies. 58%, alright, that's not bad. 39% against Geralt, yeah. And you're not going to have a good chance against this guy. Oh, misclick. Okay, well, I suppose you're sort of locked into making this attempt now. <laughs> oh, that was bad. Yeah, I wanted to I wanted to uh, right click to get the the probability of success not to actually have him move. So Volk Volkmar's army is blocked. Norska. These three armies can still move. We had that battle a few turns ago that felt decisive, where I, I wiped out two stacks led by Gelt and friends at Altdorf, but they firstly they recover from being wounded very quickly and secondly the Empire still has enough territory just about to be cranking out these stacks oh boy Did you say something? okay well this scouting hero well this hero is back and can do scouting I have to watch out for the Skaven here as well yes there's a stack in Isleheart yes 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 okay uh. And I, I know there's a stack there, but I have to search the ruins in order to find them. Oh, wait. Okay, I'm confused. I guess the Skaven didn't recolonize. They went into Ambush Dance instead. Well, that's fine. Uh, let's see. What is the solution to this Dial of the Old Ones puzzle? It is... This. Oh, that's actually not a bad item. That should go on a Mammoth General, but I think my Mammoth Generals probably have items that are as, as good as that. Uh, yeah, let's go for this. Okay, so it is a full stack of Skaven here. There's these Batonians up this way. I know there's another stack of Skaven. Oh no, the stack of Skaven in Blackstone Post is the one that's now over here, that's right. I have this army that I've kind of just thrown together out of nowhere, but is actually strong enough to be helpful here. We also don't have the plague, even though we're in... Even though we're in territory that does have the plague. Alright, I think I've decided. Overrun the world. Let's back off back to Altdorf. On the prowl. 
Or adjacent to it, yeah, that's fine. So this is basically a full heal. Um, yeah, none of the Empire armies can get to us this turn. If they retake Grumberg, then they can threaten that. Right. I think the... Th yeah. What we might need to do is abandon or sort of not really worry about protecting um, territory in Bretonia, have Wolfric come through, take out these empire settlements that I do need to take out, and really just concentrate all of my forces at once against Reichland, rather than trying to just sort of beat them with one stack. Um, yeah, they're just too strong and they produce armies uh, too quickly. You come stand here, keep an eye on these guys. They are still at war with the with Vashnar, so it's it's possible some of the armies kind of get distracted by that. But yeah, it's not. Uh, my hopes for the my enemies to fight each other has just not really come to pass, to be honest. All right, we still have some stuff to take care of here. So Wolfric, Wolfric can attack Castle Artois and then line up an attack on Gizaru, or however that's supposed to be pronounced. Next turn. So, yeah, I want you to come stand about here. Embarking. And then make the attack from this direction. Oh, I think I still have you in raid stance. All right, that's not what I want. Not that it's going to be too important. Oh, no, no, he came out of it. Okay. Yeah, so there's this Bretonian lady who attacked Langui. That's fine. She has no army left. She's just force marching out of there. I'm going to ignore her. Yeah, so we're going to attack and raise Castle Artois and attack Gizaru next turn, and then we need to take this out too. Yeah, that's fine. Um, I think I can safely auto-resolve this and not take much damage on the mammoths, yeah. And I moved into the adjacent territory, which is also fine. Okay, yeah, th this is, well... I was gonna say this is good, because I can... I could. I have the option of sacking this and then actually getting replenishment rather than just raising it. Uh, we need vision down here. Bloodthirsty. Okay. Maybe what I can do Enslave the Southerners. It's an awkward situation where I want Corona to be protected, but I don't want my army here to catch the plague by staying there. Alright. I think I will have you come this way. To waste. Yeah. Right. That was kind of silly. We didn't kill her. She died because she was on Force March. I mean, yeah, we got the experience and the levels up for the decisive victory, but I was kind of hoping to get uh, more gold from that. It's okay, it's only a small difference. Yeah, so let's Force March you guys here. So the advantage, yeah, one of the advantages of doing this is that, um, yes. Tribesmen, gather. I can potentially attack two settlements in one turn. So, I got preoccupied by with, with holding Corone and like, yeah, Corone is a good settlement, but I don't need it for anything except producing Overrun troops, the and to the, four the financial situation is such that if I'm not conquering and sacking, then I can't really recruit more troops anyway. So I, I think I should just generally reduce the priority on, on like, holding onto Corone as, as good a settlement as it is, and instead just focus on like, wiping out stuff here, which I think, like, this army is obviously far weaker than Wolfix, but it's not weak. Like, five mammoths plus these heroes, it can still handle, you know, walled settlements and stuff. So, yeah, let's just try and get a bit of a push on and get our business here in Bretonia kind of sorted out. And like I was saying before, then just throw everything we've got at Reichland. All right, what am I doing with my Bale Fiends here? I've got two Bale Fiends. Um, so realistically, I don't think both of them are going to get... 
I don't think they're going to get up to Arcane Conduit with what's left in the campaign. So I think with that in mind, I'll have one of them stick a point in replenish troops. And only and the other one work on uh, the magic line. It doesn't cost us too much if um, if we're doing if the campaign stretches out and these guys do get higher level, you know, delaying one arcane conduit by one turn is no big deal. Uh, yeah, maybe next turn I should have one of these guys actually leave the army and scout for Skaven. Yeah, that that's probably. That'd probably be a good thing to do. I'm not that worried about Wolfit getting ambushed. Like, ambushing Mammoths is not, is not going to go well for the Skaven army. Unless they've got a, a good composition of um, weapons teams and stuff. But this army is more vulnerable to that. And I've already been caught out once for lack of scouting. Well, more than once, but once recently. Alright, everything here is taken care of. Um, Did you say something? Oh, you can still move. Okay. Is there anyone in Uber's Reich? No, there's not. I think you need to be in position to do some blocking next turn, so let's go ahead and explore Grunberg, and we have another dial of the old ones. Fortunately, whenever I start this campaign, I just bring up on my other monitor the solution to these puzzles, because I know, I know it's going to happen, and I know I'm not going to be able to do it. Oh, that's a nice that's a nice sword. Okay, we should actually assign the gear we just picked up from those puzzles because it's actually good for once. Um, do I want any of these other spells? Okay, I don't love it, but I'll stick a point in Soul Blight. So maybe is my new general here? If he's going to be doing, yeah, I mean, the more fighting he's doing, the better protected I want him to be. Berserker's headband. I mean. I think I'd rather go for the Talisman of Endurance, and let's give you the Tormentor Sword. Yeah, that looks good. I can also transfer some of these heroes over to Warfic if I want to. Might not be a bad idea. Yeah, we'll sort that out next turn. Okay. Um, I think I've moved everything here. I'll cycle through the heroes afterwards, but it's not going to be too important if I've missed somebody. Now, up this way, I believe that Ikiklaw moved back into Solzenmund. Now, they have walls here and a garrison, but I think, Eric, to their yes, we are going to be able to come and fight them. Excellent. So, Ikitclaw no no. had to disband some of his units, combine some of the others. They still have some dangerous units here, but Tribesmen, this is the best opportunity we have to kill them. Then We're this general... Oh, this guy might get away. That would suck. Enslave the Can we attack him? Or do we want to fight this army in the field? I don't think we do. I think I'll make the attack here and try and kill this guy in the siege, although that'll be difficult. Yeah, it doesn't particularly like our odds. Um, they've got 10 units in the garrison, but it's all just clan rats. So what are the units we really have to watch out for here? There's Ikiklu himself. My experience with um, in the sieges is that he tends to stay back on his doom wheel at the, uh, like the town square, which is advantageous for us because we can kind of take out the rest of his stuff. So two Jezails, it's really just the two Jezails, two Deathglow Bombardiers, two Rattling Guns, and the Bombardiers are not even good against Mammoths. Yeah, I think this is fine. Right, and this guy's coming in as reinforcements, and it'd be great if we could kill him, but no big deal if we don't. Right, unfortunately, yeah, I don't have much in the way of magic support. I do have this one guy. I mean, Searing Doom is not the worst. Hopefully this will put a stop to Ikitclaw's uh, rampaging across the north of the Empire. Boy, it'd be nice to have these extra 12 mammoths down fighting Reichland, though. Eric the Lustful, alright. Hmm, I maybe should have checked. I hope this isn't a placeholder general. I guess it's not. I mean, he's got some magic items. I guess he has infernal dominance. And he's not just the recruiter who I forgot to switch out. Uh, let's get more magic if we can. We can, good. So 
So we're going to have to deal with Menace below here. Uh, most likely. That's not going to be a problem though. Go ahead and advance up to the walls here. So this guy, oh yeah, he actually stalks, so we can't see him. But the guy who just came on as reinforcements is that uh, leader of the second army who we want to kill. Now, rattling guns back here. Okay, that could be a bit of a problem. But yeah, it, like I was saying, that like if it claws back over here, this the AI does not do a good job of defending uh, in the sieges. Double speed to just get out of that tower of fire arc. Consider it done. Menace blow coming down here in a few seconds. I mean our guys all come together, yeah there it is. There's no way this does any damage really. That's it. Yeah, he's derated. Good. Stop Let's just wait and see if they have a second one. Um, it's a bit hard to tell. Based on corruption in the area, I don't think they've had this long enough to have a second menace below, but I'm never 100% how that works. Meanwhile, we should be casting some magic up against these units up on the walls here. So these Death Globe Bombardiers... Yeah, the um, Night Runners just don't have the armor piercing to really threaten the Mammoths. Honestly, the Death Globe Bombardiers aren't particularly good against them either. Can I hit units back here? No, I can't quite. Alright. In that case, sure. Start killing these ones. Doesn't look like we've got more minus below, which is good, so we can just sit here and let our magic do a bit of damage. Yeah, really nice damage there. Good stuff. So we'll soften them up a bit more than magic, then we'll go in and smash this lot with the mammoths. Um, they don't have storm vermin. Their, their front line here is just too weak, and the thing is, once we've taken that out, we can get to their weapons teams here. Um, the, the troops back at the like, with Ickit Claw covering this, are strong, but by the time we have to go fight them, we'll have killed so much of their army, it won't be an issue. Let's speed this up. Wouldn't mind just routing this unit, and then I think I'll hold on to the rest of my Winds of Magic to um, drop this on top of big clumps of Skaven once we go through the gate. Okay. Oh, they're still clumping up so much, though. Yeah, I can't resist. Alright. Onwards. Um... Yeah, this work and can lead from the front. We don't really want our general involved in the fighting. He doesn't have any healing. We've got an opal amulet for the damage reduction, but... Oh, I can actually have him sent, uh, go at the walls. Mm, that's probably asking for trouble. <laughs> the Night Runners... Not only are the Night Runners not good at shooting the Mammoths, but they're actually kind of getting shot by all the, the dudes on the back of the Mammoths as they come past. That's funny. Oh, and the Skaven haven't even crewed this tower. Yeah, AIC's defense. I don't know. What can you say? <laughs> Nothing very constructive. Right. I have to keep an eye on stuff here. Warp grinders? Yep, yeah, that's fine. The other rattling guns and drizales are the danger units, but I think they're all up here, just completely out of the way, essentially. Oh, there's another full health unit of Death Globe Bombardiers here. Okay, I think we can. I think we can spare this to drop on top of them then. Alright, I hope 
attacking this gate. Oops. Oh yeah, something's attacking it. 49%, alright, nice. And we've taken minimal damage so far. Yeah. This is the unit I'm most concerned about. I They could do significant damage to a mammoth if they're, if they're able to just free fire into the melee that's going to happen. So I probably want... I don't want to do this. I really don't need many mammoths to deal with what's in front of us here. It, it's just, there's a lot of troops, but it's all garbage. Or, yeah, it's like... The sense of bearers is just not good against large units. So I think what I'm going to do here... First six mammoths smash on through. The second six, I think I want to just beeline for these rattling guns. Alright, we do need to get the mammoths in, though. Oh, look at this clump of skaven. That's disgusting. Come on, guys. In, in, in. Yeah, this is what I was talking about. having a lot of leadership problems on these mammoths. Ah, oh, so stupid. We really don't have to be very scared of these units, but yeah, he is going to rout. Okay, that's bad. Got another of these coming down, that's good. It's going to come to escaping slaves though. The mammoth takes a lot of extra damage when it's routing too. Come on guys, get in here. Okay, we've got in combat with the Rattling Guns, good. If I lose this mammoth, I'm not going to be happy. It's kind of just milling around. Okay, it's coming back this way. Good, good, good. Okay. Yeah, and we've smashed them, we've smashed them up here. Plaguement Central Bearers, don't care about those. Yeah, keep killing the Rattling Guns. That mammoth did great. He just... Yeah. He did what I actually wanted. He just beelined for the Rattling Guns, bowled them over, job done. The other mammoths here are just... Dirking around. Yeah, the broken mammoth is going to stop us getting through the gates now. Look, it, it's okay. We just need to win this fight, and then we can we can take time to recover with this army. I'm just irritated that. Uh, yeah, <laughs> didn't manage to coordinate it better. Right, you can come up here as well. Yeah, don't go over the walls though. That's fine. Of course, this mammoth could just rally. I mean. The rest of us are doing absolutely fine here. Actually, you know what? This mammoth, yeah. Getting my mammoths isolated looks kind of bad. Part of the reason we have leadership problems is just we have a low rank general. We don't have all those traits like confident attacker and and so on that, that help us out. I'm actually taking quite a lot more damage than I thought. Being shot again by rattling guns. Route. Even with only five rattling guns there, they still do a fair amount of damage. Alright, we've we'll dealt with this game in here. Let's get up, get up this way. Oh, he's rallied. Good. What are you doing? Get back in there. Can you get in here too? Yeah. I'm fine with the general fighting, but it's not going to melee. If you're going to get shot too much, get out of there. Don't want mammoths to die. Don't care about. This. Yeah, We're, we've done all right here. It's a bit of a mess, but we've routed all the stuff up this way. Yeah. So you stay out the fight. Honestly, we don't need many mammoths at the end of this. We just don't want them getting killed. Okay, push on. Yeah. Push this lot off the battlefield. Then over this way. Yeah, we just want to coordinate a final attack on, on the uh, the stuff here. Icket Claw can be a bit dangerous. Um, so we don't want... Yeah, we just don't want to be attacking up there piecemeal, but I think we can manage it fine. There's a couple of units here that haven't broken, but they look very weak. Skaven Slaves. Now, where's that general I wanted to kill from the reinforcing army? It's so hard to find him because he stalks. I'm not seeing him anywhere. He'd have a pretty full health bar, I think. 
He's probably back in by the HQ, yeah. Alright. Okay, we've got our own magic we can drop down as well. Scaven Slow Spears plus Warp Grinders, yep, yeah, not a problem. We've managed to take out all their stuff here without getting shot at all by the Jezails who've just been out of the whole fight. We can actually probably hit them with magic before they can hit us. Oh, what's happening to you? How are you taking all this damage? Wow, that's... I don't know. His defense stat isn't that high. Got a... yeah, he got beat up a bit more than I expected there. That's alright though. the effects of the plague sensor, whatever. Okay, I do not want you getting shot by the Chazales just yet. Move back, move back. You want position to start dropping magic on top of them though. So Icket Claw, Warp Fire Throwers. Yeah, I mean that Warp Lightning is just not going to do anything. Not doing much anyway. No, these plague monk sensor bearers are fighting extremely hard. Ah, here's the guy we wanted to kill. Okay. The trouble with this positioning... Oh, I see what's happening. He's probably been sniping our, um, our work in. The problem with this positioning is he's probably going to route off the battlefield. Alright, let's just, let's just take care of this. See if I can actually kill this guy. And hopefully... Yeah, these units aren't going to be able to come shoot us. Yeah, just hold position here. Um... I'm fine with Claw casting that against us, honestly. Yeah, my concern is that this guy's going to rout off the battlefield before dying, but maybe not. We'll see what happens. I mean, one or other is happening because... Yeah, I mean... Now I'm just just deal damage in such huge chunks. He, he's just going to go, yeah. Alright. Well, it is what it is. I think one Skaven... He, he's probably going to go east, actually, to that other settlement that Ikit Claw took. Yeah. Alright, we need to get position for this attack. Let's get up there. Uh, Wolf fire throwers. Wolf fire throwers don't do too much damage against us. Yeah, Storm Demon from Echo Claw is worse. Alright, there goes the leadership. Okay, nice. That looks like we've got the army losses inflicted. Yes. Alright. Good enough. Yeah, I was correct that 12 Mammoths was enough for this. It maybe would have been... Well, maybe even 9 would have been fine. So we don't need to run them down. They're in the settlement. They always count as wiped out. The one guy who was reinforcing from outside got away, but... Yeah, so we kind of need a turn for punishment on, on these troops. We can't get it here because Salzenmund is a... Um... Yeah, Salzenmund's not a settlement we can colonize, but that's fine. We don't really need the regeneration as well. Okay, good. We still have Skaven... Yeah, we still have bits and pieces of Skaven um, up on that north coast of the Empire and then the Black Pits, which I guess this army should be trying to or, like, aiming to deal with. I 
I could just head south, I guess. Yeah, so this is the rat that got away. We got him down to half health, but he just fled off the battlefield. That's a nice amount of gold. All right, we're definitely raising. Move on then. Fine. Um, okay, yeah, that's not too bad to have. So they have, yeah, the Skaven do have Norden. All right, level up for you. That's not bad at all. Get an uh, upkeep discount. Um, yeah, Sorcerer did a decent job there, even though he's only very low rank. I'm going to just assume the Wood Elves will leave us alone if we don't get over next to them. So yeah, we could come attack Norden, and then they also have Wrecker's Point and Black Pit. But there's still the pink um, clouds over all this other territory, which is kind of good. The Skaven haven't just systematically recolonized all of this, at least. Yeah, we'll just have to decide what to do next turn with um, Eric's army. We've got so many of these banners. Le yeah, leadership is a bit of an issue. Let's just grab a couple war hammers. Oh, uh, war banners. Okay. Yeah, that's that done. Good. Well, at least Dickett Claw is out of action for the time being. Right, and I'm not doing any more recruitment. I think, yeah, if I'm... A deficit of 20,000 a turn, I can manage. I will not. I guide okay, let's try. Look, look at the heroes that haven't moved. All right. I have to sort out Leaf. Rat Splitter in the Far East. I'm just thinking of anyone else. Yeah. So the situation here, unfortunately we had our scouting hero wounded. We've got this silly Orc Assassin, or Shaman turned Assassin, I guess, who's wounded everyone except these last two heroes out of Leaf's army as well. Yeah, I mean this is a pretty typical green skin stack for this point of the game, but it's a little too strong to be taking on. So what I'm going to do here, especially, I don't have scouting information, right? So I'm just also vulnerable to attack from the dwarves out, out from this direction, maybe. Um, speaking of which, I guess I kind of lost track of Grom Brindle. He only had half a stack, though. Yeah, I'm not worried about it. So let's, um, let's back off. Sent by the serpent. We could force march. I'd rather go into ambush dance though, even though there's a chance we get discovered. Journeying. So my plan here is to basically back off to the north and I submit. If, green, if these greenskins want to come attack the dwarves, great. If these greenskins want to come recolonize this, we can attack them afterwards. Leaf's job, and he's not costing as much upkeep because his army's just marauders. Leaf job is just to stop Greenskins from getting up here and causing us problems, but yeah, he, he's doing that fine. I guide the tribe. All right, we have another sorcerer here who is also in danger of being wounded by this big boss. So where do I want you to come? Probably just keep going this direction. All right, anyone else who needs to move? Yeah. All right, you were just keeping an eye on Grand Peak. I go. Yeah, the dwarves have moved out. Point Fair away. enough. Um, you are helping Kislev grow. Yeah. She, we seem to have shaken the attention of whatever enemy heroes are up there. Yeah, this is the main. This is the main action for over the end turn, I think, and possibly if Fashion comes and attacks us too, we'll just have to see what happens. Yeah, you can stay there. And that's everyone. Okay. Damage building in Marienburg. Yeah, I'm not repairing this stuff. Leoness. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm just putting a little gold into getting some defenses and building this Kale Shrine. They're very cheap. No need to cancel those. It's not clear anyone's really going to attack us there anyway. Yeah, this is all fine.
Okay. So nothing else to build. Do I have any hero slots? Um, yeah, I've got one sorcerer slot. Okay. What do I want in the sorcerer line? I think... I want a sorcerer in this army, but I really want someone who's a more capable spellcaster. Speak then, shaman sorcerer. Yeah. Let's see, what traits do they actually have for the No, I can't recruit them in Altdorf anyway. No, never mind then. Perceptive, determined, turf diabolic splendor. Yeah, none of this is very good, is it? Um, oh, you know what? Let's recruit the cunning guy over by Drakenhof, because I believe if the ambush isn't discovered here and the orcs do walk on in, I believe that this cunning, having this cunning guy in the same, yeah, same territory, ambush success chance 10% local armies, let's just recruit him here. Always have the option of just disbanding him next turn if I need to. Um, we obviously don't lack for heroes, but yeah. Since, since I rolled Cunning, let's just up the ambush success chance. Why not? Okay, we're skipping that. Yeah, that's everything. Alright. Uh, and I assigned the magic items I got. Yeah, I can't think of anything else I need to do here. Let's move on. Okay, that's the Skaven army there. Oh, the Skaven here attacking Marienburg. Alright, well, whatever. Yeah, we obviously can't stop them. Yeah, th this would be a difficult army to fight with Marauders, but Mammoths could deal with it fine. I'm assuming they're just going to uh, occupy it. Oh no, they raised it. Okay. Yeah, he wins back to Norden. Okay. Steel technology, yeah, it's whatever. Reichland. I think Gelt recolonized Camperbad. Oh no, he didn't recolonize it. He brought them back as Telebeckland. Okay. Yeah, I forgot they could do that. Ambush foiled, leave rat splitter. That's not great. We am failed the ambush here as well. We failed the ambush and we didn't get the reinforcements. We didn't get the reinforcements from... Ah, we didn't get the reinforcements from Drakenhof. So maybe I want to decline this ambush. Or decline this attack. It's giving me good odds. I could actually win by order resolving, but it would take a ton of damage. Uh I'm a bit concerned that this this Lord has Lightning Strike and might use it if he is planning to attack um, Drakenhof. Uh, this is a situation I really didn't want. I wanted to be able to bring in my reinforcements from the Drakenhof garrison. So let's see here. So there's a strong Lord, basically max level. He's got his spider, yeah. Seven, six units of Black Orcs, three Boar Boys. We just don't have much in this army. I, th I think I want to decline this ambush. Yeah, we backed off. Oh, but we backed off. Okay, well, we're fighting them anyway. I mean, yeah. So what happened there is we retreated, but we unfortunately retreated far enough that we couldn't bring in reinforcements from Drakenhof. I'm quite lucky that he didn't just attack Drakenhof, actually. This is better for me. I mean, we have to fight this battle now. Um, yeah, alright, let's do it. Uh, this is really, really, really nasty army. 
I should have just stayed put in Drakenhof itself. I like maybe got a bit too cute trying to trying to do that ambush. I was concerned that the Greenskin army wouldn't attack if they if they would have to fight us plus the garrison and they'd just sort of raid us uh, until another stack came along to help them out. But maybe that was the better uh, maybe that was the better better approach. I can't imagine winning this battle without taking heavy damage. So what's our plan here? Right, the Manticores can go after the Doom Diver. That's sort of a no-brainer. Um, we've got triple work in. We want to be able to fight. We have Surthor on his Mammoth. That's good, at least. I bet I'm going to regret not having the regeneration passive on Surthor this battle as well, like I did with uh, Lamont. Okay, so our Femir are going to have to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Black Orcs, and our same for our Marauder Champs. And then we've got these two units behind for Missile Fire. They're actually quite strong because of the boost from the Magic Banner. And they have lots of armor piercing damage, but I do only have two of them. Okay, so magic-wise, I've just got the one Arcane Conduit. I mean, these spells are okay. Not fantastic, but these are okay against clumps of infantry. They've got, like, double giant trolls, pump wagons, or chariots. What to do? Oh, I do a flames... Yeah, I do a flamestorm. Okay. Well, that makes me feel a little a little better about things. Do I want to do some sort of flank of the work in? He's faster than the... This guy, at least, is faster than the boar boys. Mm, probably not, though. A lot of this is going to come down to a toe-to-toe -to -toe fight against the Black Orcs, which I'm never <laughs> particularly confident about, to be honest. Alright, so we've got an alternating line, Fimeo and Champions, which is the best I can do. Um, let's keep the trolls in reserve. Hopefully can do a flank attack. These guys are going to be important, but let's have them start behind. Then, yeah, Surth is important too. So he's got the Tormentor Sword, he also has the Crown of Command. So you, you have Arcane Conduit, but honestly, it's this guy with the Flamestorm that I'm really going to need. So I want you right here, I think. And you don't have a chariot. Yeah, you're, you're my... You're my least important hero, so you can be over here. Don't need you to be involved in the fighting. And honestly, this spell is not super good against the heavily armored Black Orcs anyway. Um, got to worry about the cavalry attacking us on the flanks. Oh, I've got another mammoth. Right, right, right. Okay, well, that's good. In that case, let's do this. And just have to work in in the main battle line as well, I think. Uh, it's too bad you don't. The guy in the chariot isn't the one with flamestorm here, but that's okay, I guess. Shaman so does this guy have the armor aura? Uh, it does not look like he does. Okay, that's too bad. Alright, we'll have the Manticores. The Manticores basically are just going to go after the Doom Diver and then distract their units. We can pull this deployment zone back a bit. Ugh, I can't say I feel great about this, but I mean, it is what it is. We don't have a choice. Okay, where are the Doom Divers? Or where is the Doom Diver? It's back here. Yeah, okay. I mean, the Orcs have to attack us. All right, the Doom Divers are firing at our Manticores. That's okay. Yeah, that is not going to do very much damage. 
All right, now the orcs are advancing. So they have Boar Boy Biggins over on this flank. They have more Boar Boy Biggins and Boar Boys here. And the Arachnorc Spider. The Giants are in the middle of the Black Orcs. Okay. And then there's Night Gobbos we can't see. And then there's the General over this way. Right. Okay, the Manticores are just going to have to get shot a bit by the Doom Divers. There's no way around that. I don't want them to be fighting these other units. We don't need to put down Arc and Conduit yet. We could do some cast some fireballs at these Boar Boys. That's not a bad idea. Be definitely good for us. No good spells against them. Yeah, speaking of fireball, their general is hitting us with some stuff here. Oh, and there's Night Gobber Archers right there. Oh, that's unfortunate. Yeah, it's going to be a bit of damage. Okay, they're, they're protecting the Doom Divers a little too well right now. I don't want these units to break and flee off the battlefield. They're actually distracting these ball boys. I don't know what these guys are doing. Like, we're, you can't fly. <laughs> You're not going to be able to catch us. Yeah, we'll have to, have to just back off. If this splits our army up, no problem. We're not actually taking that much damage. Yeah, if you want to use magic against our monsters... Oh, the monster's actually quite a big chunk of damage. I was going to say, it's not going to do much. Yeah, yeah, they've given up on that plan. Good, okay. Still not much else for us to be doing right this second. Now, oh, the orcs are kind of being patient, though. This guy must have a ruby ring of ruin. Yeah, yeah. I managed to whiff that one, though. That spell hurts. Would not have expected that to do as much damage as it is. Okay. Alright, they're sending the bull boys in advance the rest of the army. I think that's good for us. They are, unfortunately, also in range of the Doom Diver, but I think we want to just hold back. No, now they're coming in again. Okay. Well, the Doom Driver doesn't do too much to the Mammoth. Oh, they've backed off again. Ugh, Orcs are being uncharacteristically cagey. Alright, that's his third fireball. It did not do much. Neither did that. Yeah, we can regenerate that damage. In fact. Alright, if we've got Night Gobber Archers here, let's try and take them out. Oh, this might go badly, but these units aren't so critical to us. You can regenerate that damage. Yeah, they are firing They are firing the Doom Divers pretty ineffectually. Yeah, we've got this unit wrecked. Black Orcs, okay, they're not gonna get over here in time. I mean, they're firing, they've got their magic and missile artillery fire concentrating on this unit that can regenerate, like... Yeah, I mean, the two manticores, credit to the manticores, they did actually, they, they did get the job done pretty fast against those night gobbos. And that's the last fireball from the Ring of Ruin. Which didn't do too much either. And this guy does not have unlimited magic, despite the fact that he is just spamming it out here over here. Right, and they're running away from the Black Orcs. Okay, so this worked well for us. We essentially took that unit out of the fight. The Orcs are going to have to just commit to a melee attack at some point. Yeah, which looks like they kind of are. We can still regenerate this damage. Okay, here's a unit of Black Orcs. Looks like a good target for a... Flamestorm. Manticores are doing great back there. Yeah, we can get these guys. Good. Usual confusion about some of the AI tactics, but whatever. Oh, didn't kill any of them. Yikes. Okay, let's bring this Messina over this way. Okay, yeah, that one unit Black Orcs decided they probably couldn't take on a whole army on their own. <laughs> uh, classic Orcs. Right, need to realign this side of things a little bit. 
It's happening over here. No, right, they rallied, but oh no, they're broken. Good. Okay, that's going to do a bit of damage to them. This weapon's turned into a bit of a damage sponge, but it's fine. I mean, I can just get them out of the action whenever I want. Yeah, these black orcs are now just milling around a bit harmlessly. Oh, I was hoping that spell would clip his own black orcs, but it didn't quite. I mean, if you want to chase me, you can just I'll just keep running over this way. All right, that's close enough. really has in for this hero. <laughs> Alright, we should be... Yeah, let's try and deal with these troops right here, though. Let's drop a flamestorm on this lot before sending our infantry in. Good. Uh, kind of torched their own Fimia. Oof. That's okay, though. We did the job. Yeah, nice. Opportunity to possibly kill that general here. He's a poor boy, Biggins. Okay. Now we have to quite a bit of damage there. going on this flank. Okay, other ball boys are coming in. We'll mount, charge into them, get the Tormentor Sword down. I'm not sure that quite worked, but it's okay. And battle is joined in the center. The stone Trolls. We need to be flamestorming things. Looks like a reasonable target. You are taking way too much damage. things going over here. Good. Yeah, the general bit off more than he can chew. Manticores, you're late to the party, but can still contribute. Got those ball boys out of the way. Nice. Okay. Need to get some... Need to get the fighting in the middle. It's going to hit a lot of our own stuff, but I think it's worth it for how clumped up those orcs are. Yep. It's pretty good. No... Oh, it's only squigs. Come on, dude, don't use the squigs. Yes, we're out of their general. Uh, he should get away. Yeah, this is actually going kind of better than I expected. I have to just be very careful of these black orcs. So I've had so many battles in the past with the black orcs just fight and fight and fight. Oh, it's a full health of Ragnarok spider here as well. Crap, okay. That's not good. How are we doing? You rallied, okay. We need to get... Need some help over here, I think. Maybe not. Maybe we're actually doing okay there. Oh, those Black Orcs are hitting our melee troops. That's bad. Um, Alright, the general fled off the battlefield. Good. Back in. I don't love the idea of you going toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Ragnarok Spider, but that's kind of where we are. He wants to take in a bit of damage, but he's okay. I think we've got this. They, they really... To be honest, they really screwed up the way they attacked us in this battle. Those are just wolf chariots, yeah, they don't really matter too much. Alright, this unit got wrecked. Yeah, get out of there, guys. Who are you fighting? Black Orcs. Black Orcs shattered. I think that's... Oh yeah, we won. Ugh, yuck. The worst thing as well is we still have the, the fact that the... Um, Vashnar can come attack us this turn as well, I believe. Alright, we need to run these units down. Definitely want to kill that giant. Is he down? Yes! Alright, nice job, dude. <laughs> he got two kills, one of which was a giant. Fair enough. Yeah, we, we took heavy damage 
overall. We had one of these units shatter. I don't think maybe it got wiped out. I don't know. I don't think it was that low though. I think it was still like eight or nine guys in it. Oh, I didn't use the manticores that well. I just there was just too much to manage when the orcs were advancing on our battle line, and it was the usual sh situation of like having to try and prioritize. Yeah, let's kill the doom divers. Our melee troops actually did surprisingly well, but again, the orcs completely fluffed the engagement. Like, yeah, I mean, yeah, they they should have coordinated things much better, basically. Fortunately, it's a situation where we're actually faster than them and, and can run them down. That said, okay, I want you to come over here, get this giant. Can you snap that giant? It'd be funny if this guy had three kills and two of them are giants. Yeah, the work did great. This is the thing, is like, I don't know why the, the orc, uh, the Greenskin General on his spider got so preoccupied of taking down this worker and he was blasting with his magic, he charges into melee with him at the end, didn't do a great job, we just, yeah, we just absorbed so much damage on this hero. Right, we want that giant to die. Orc boys, I don't care about them, Black Orcs, only 16 left, yeah, sort of whatever. Get that giant. Yeah, he's down. Nice. Okay. There's one black orc there, but I really want more replenishment. More regeneration on my my work in here. Because I have a bad feeling Vashnar is gonna come attack us. And we're not gonna be able to retreat from that fight too, because it's still over the same end turn. We um, can't retreat again. Oh, I don't think we can beat his army with this, unfortunately. That's going to take some. That's going to take some lifetime flame storms from this bale fiend. A little unfortunate there's only one orc in this unit because I don't actually want to kill him because that would end the battle. Now, we're getting enough regeneration, I can't really complain. Yeah, with the manticores, I should have had them closer to the, the battle line. They chased off that first unit of Night Gobble Archers, which was fine, but then I should have had them much closer in. Um, I think the Doom Diver actually probably did a fair amount of damage to us in the end. Um, I, I would didn't see quite what happened, but I think they probably changed target to our infantry once the battle lines were coming in and, yeah, did a fair amount of damage to us. Okay, so now we just play this game of boxing the Black Orcs in until we hit the regeneration limit. Uh, sorry, this is a bit boring. Um, I'm not going to be recording uh, another battle in this video. I'll just wait until this is over, then, uh, you know, next video will start either at the start of our next turn or at the start of the next battle if there's another one over the end turn. So you're not going to miss much by just skipping at this point, is what I'm saying. Oh, we're going to let this guy off the battlefield though. Are we? Maybe not. Nah, good. Didn't see what the trolls ended up doing. I guess they got stuck into the Black Orcs on the left flank and did okay. Yeah. I wouldn't be doing this except for the fact that we have a chance of being attacked again over the end turn. Certainly if the Greenskins send another stack here, I'll just do the the simple play of leaving my full stack in Drakenhof. Like, yeah, there's no deception, all our cards are on the table, the Orcs can attack us if they want or not, but we don't end up in this silly situation where I'm actually split off now from the garrison and both are vulnerable. Oh, I should get Lamont over here with the Tormentor Sword, that'll help things out. 
Well, thank you, Mr. Black Orc, for not dying or getting off the battlefield. You're providing us with hundreds of extra hit points. Okay, I need to... S let's see. Do I not have ammo on? Oh, interesting. The General's War Mammoths don't actually have ammo. I never realized that. Oh. Need to be more observant, I guess. I was going to turn off fire at will so I don't accidentally shoot this poor dude. We just want to get close to him and then hit him with this Tometa Sword ability. There we go. Enjoy not being able to move anywhere. Yeah, we just want him to sort of run in this direction. Which he's not doing. Come on, dude. I still wish they'd make it so that you just got to max out your regeneration after each battle without having to manually, like, do it. Oh well. It is what it is. I think looking at the start of the battle, I thought I would have taken more damage with this. No, than this. I thought I'd get melee units actually wiped out by their Black Orcs, and we didn't, so... I don't really want to be complaining too much, to be honest. Oh, okay, there we go. No, no way through here. How much more do I have to heal on you? Uh... 11, okay, almost 1200. I need to Manta Sword him again in a minute. Should have done a better job with some of my, my units for sure. I'm seeing. Oh, well, this working got no kills, but he did do 4000 damage. Oh, he, okay, yeah, he was probably fighting a giant. Okay. Fair enough, I suppose. Yeah, ten and a half thousand from Surfer. It's a bit inflated, probably from running units down. Charles did twenty thousand. Yeah. Charles did more damage than the Wizard. That's kind of crazy. Alright, you've got 400 health to go. You've got 900. Well, if Surfta survives the, uh, the end turn, he hopefully will get a rank up and can actually pick up regeneration on, on Surfta too, which would be huge, because the amount of regeneration scales off his, um, off his health, right? Yeah, so if he, if I did have regeneration on him, he'd be able to regenerate 11,000 health in addition to his 15,000 base HP pool, which is so much in a long battle. And it's perfect as well, because the short battles that are decisive that you win easily, it doesn't matter too much that the regeneration doesn't have time. But in the long battle, where you've got like, you know, the, the HP really ends up mattering, like in that battle against the Petonians with my other lord, uh, Lamont, then... Regeneration on the Mammoth is so, so good. Alright, we done here? No, not quite. Positioning. Let's just hit this dude with the Tormentor Sword again. Oh, sorry about that noisy car outside. No time to lose! Alright, just another couple minutes to go. Go on, dude, no way through here. Run back this way. Leader of savages. Quickly 
now. Yeah, I really want to cap out the healing here because I want the full amount available in the next battle. Alright. That should do it, I think. Yeah. Okay, good. Well, we're as strong as we can be for the next fight. Perfect victory, yeah. Pretty sure this guy didn't die, he just broke. Um, not ideal, but he's still here for the... with Arcane Conduit and stuff next time. Yeah, pretty sure this unit as well didn't get completely wiped out. So, if Ashnod doesn't attack us over the end turn, we can heal most of this off and follow up and kill this army. But, yeah. I think we got both the giants. The spider, the Arachnoic spider here got off, and so did the general. Yeah, that's a little scary. But this shouldn't be much of a fighting force. Yeah, and I was correct about that. None of the units wiped out. More gold at least, I can't complain about that. Oh, Asetha did not get a rank up. Unfortunate. Ah, oh, that silly guy wounding us again. Oh well. And my hero here wounded. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Same old story. So now we see whether, what Vashnar does. Yeah, these Petonias I'm not too concerned about, I think. Paravon stayed put. We lost line of sight to here, alright. And the guy here wounded too. That's so bad. That's three of my scouting heroes in the key part of the Western Empire wounded. No. Ugh, sigh. Yeah. So my, my kind of botched positioning of my army really screwed me here, because now I have to fight Vashnar with just my garrison, which I don't think I can win. Well, okay. It's not the end of the world if we lose control of Drakenhof. It's bad, though. Also because we wouldn't get replenishment on our river army. But I'm going to end it here. Maybe there's some small chance we can win this battle. It's, it's, not, it's not good, though. Alright, thanks a lot for watching. Back with the next part.